Hello and welcome to the Wordsmith YouTube channel. It's a pleasure to have you here. For those who are joining us for the first time, I'm Carl. I'm a vocalist, reactor, movie reviewer, and spoken word artist. And today, by popular demand, we're delving into Dimash Kudaibarkin's live performance at the Almaty concert. And this time he'll be performing the story of One Sky live. This was, like I said, heavily requested by the Deers in my first reaction, vocal, and lyrical analysis of the Story of One Sky music video. That video will be available in the end screen if you want to watch it. Additionally, I've poured my heart and soul into other personal projects entitled Bottled Up, Echoes in the End, and The Five Stages. They're short poetry videos exploring the experiences of bottling up emotions and many other things as well. It's a project that's very near and dear to my heart and I humbly ask that you maybe support me by watching it. You never know who needs to hear that and who may feel comforted by it. So thank you for your consideration. And hey, if you find yourself enjoying what I offer here on the Wordsmith YouTube channel, I'd be grateful if you could show your support by simply subscribing, liking our videos, and sharing your thoughts in the comment section below. Your feedback really does mean the world to me. And for those looking to extend a bit more support, there are other avenues like joining my Patreon, buy me a coffee, or even using the super thanks feature right here on YouTube. Every gesture, big or small, is immensely appreciated. A heartfelt thank you goes out to all the incredible donors who have already supported my journey. Your generosity fuels my passion and I'm deeply grateful for your kindness. You guys truly are the best. Thank you so much. All right, without further ado, let's dive straight into it. Okay, here we go. So, okay, okay, cool. And believe what's happening Oof. at all. I burst crazy, we report to fall. We are the reason who causing all that pain to the secret from the king. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I just want to mention some things I've already noticed. That's a great jacket, by the way. Okay. So, Dimash begins the song with an extremely aspirate onset. Now, this technique involves starting the note with a very breathy sound, which can add a unique emotional quality to his singing. The breathiness can evoke feelings of vulnerability or fragility, making the performance more emotionally engaging and intimate. This technique can be particularly effective in conveying the delicate or introspective parts of a song. Now, having previously analyzed the lyrics of this song, it's clear that Dimash's message is profound and significant. His live performance here maintains the same sort of emotional intensity. Yet, I was sort of hoping that his English pronunciation, it doesn't seem to have shown improvement as I expected, but his vocal performance remains outstanding. The clarity of the lyrics, though, is crucial, especially for a song with such an important message. So improved articulation and pronunciation in English would help ensure that the audience and everyone listening grasps the meaning of the emotional depth of the song. So I do know that his English has improved over time. I looked at and listened to songs like Smoke, When I've Got You, and his English has significantly improved. My hope would be to watch and listen to a version of the story of One Sky that's a lot more recent and engage where exactly he is with his English. So, yeah, I'm not usually that worried about his articulation in a different language because his vocals are so overwhelming. But when it comes to a song with this type of message, you would kind of hope that it would be up to that sort of standard, you know? I know the Diaz may come after me for that, but it is true. 
Anyway, on with the reaction. Oh, the emotion is unbelievable. His his use of breath is just unbelievable, it is masterfully done, and it conveys this melancholic, almost tortured and fragile emotion. And this marriage of technique and emotion creates a powerful and evocative performance, like I can feel it. The textural breathiness involves deliberately allowing more air to pass through the vocal cords as he sings, producing a softer, more airy sound like you're hearing right now. Now, this breathy quality can make the voice sound more intimate and vulnerable, perfectly suiting songs that explore deep and complex emotions. And Dimash masters this so well, especially through the mood of his performance. Let's back it up slightly. bit more power. Grow, and now build again. Oh, his vocal technique is... Well, it's, it's, it's Dimash. What do you expect? It's going to be perfect. Dimash is such a master. He just masterfully navigates between different vocal registers to enhance the emotional impact of his performance. And he begins with an aspirated head voice, like I mentioned earlier, and he maintains that airy, ethereal quality to convey a sense of fragility and melancholy, like I mentioned before. And then during the performance, Dimash subtly engages his chest voice for a brief moment. And that transition adds a touch of warmth and solidity to the sound. And it provides a contrast that emphasizes the emotional depth of the song. So by briefly incorporating his chest voice, he creates a dynamic shift that can convey a surge of emotion or a moment of strength amid the overall vulnerability. And after that brief engagement of his chest voice, Dimash returns to his head voice for the chorus, and then he builds again. The head voice, with its lighter and more resonant quality, allows him to deliver the chorus with a sense of upliftment and expansiveness. So this transition back to the head voice helps to maintain the song's ethereal and poignant atmosphere, while also showcasing his remarkable vocal range and control. Really great stuff. I've already watched the music video, so I've, I'm very familiar with the lyrics. But I'm curious as to whether he can pull all of that off in a live performance. I've been told that he can, but I need to see that for myself, especially the end part. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, 
very tenorish. He's maintaining that quality of vocal whilst moving around that much. Jeez, that's that's quite something. I'm interested in the progression of this performance. You see, Dimash's transitions into his tenor quality. He's utilizing a stronger, chesty vocal with increased intensity, and there's some physical animation that's going on there. And this shift aligns perfectly with the sort of call to action vibe with the lyrics. And engaging his tenor voice allows Dimash to project more power and resonance, which creates a commanding presence that draws us as an audience in. Now, this vocal quality is characterized by a fuller, more robust sound that can carry emotional weight and urgency, making it ideal for conveying strong, persuasive messaging in the song. Also bearing in mind, if you look at the marsh, his physical animation during this part of the performance further enhances the intensity. His movements and expression mirror the passion and conviction in his voice, adding a visual dimension to the emotional narrative already. So this synchronization of vocal delivery and physical expression demonstrates his deep connection to the lyrics and his ability to communicate their significance effectively. It's all part and parcel of being a great performer, but here he's exercising a lot of his philanthropic passions, let's say. Okay, backing up a little bit. Yeah, look at that. He's singing through that, not losing tone. Nice. It's so, well, it's just amazing. Let me just say that. He just truly exemplifies mastery in vocal dynamics. It's a skill that sets him apart as, well, for me, one of the most versatile and expressive vocalists in the world. His ability to seamlessly shift between different vocal registers, intensities, timbres, it allows him to convey a wide range of emotions and narratives within a single performance. He truly is the best when it comes to just vocal expression. Okay, now, I know the song well enough to know what comes next, and it's been pretty similar to the music video. So I'm really curious to figure out what happens here. I'm just gonna bring it back just a tiny bit, and let's see. There you go.
that Middle Eastern traditional folk singing. Oh my word, how... It's his voice and the graphics, gosh. Jeez, he does it live, the two of him throat singing. Home for peace. And then he engages a subharmonic vocal quality similar to that of death growling, but I I got no words, man. The fact that he's able to do this live is it's unreal, but it's obviously real. These people are watching it, and I'm watching it. What never gets old for me, and I've done this like I don't know over twenty reactions of him, is his ability to encompass such a diverse array of vocal techniques across different cultures, all within a single song. That's ridiculous. And that versatility is what makes him a unique and extraordinary artist. And I refer to him as a vocal unicorn. His talent goes beyond mere technical skill. It embodies a deep understanding and a deep appreciation for the gift that he's been given, as well as learning different traditions and styles. So he seamlessly incorporates techniques from classical opera, traditional Eastern singing, pop, rock, and or whatever he wants. He seems to pull it off without much issue, so keep doing what you do, man. Okay, let's keep it going. It's like a vocal lamentation. Like a vocal cry, but very Eastern traditional. And then, is he going to go soprano? Yes, he is. <laughs> Every time. I love his soprano register and the feels that his music produces is insane. The things I would give to see him live. It's his performances are just outstanding, particularly in how much vocal real estate he covers in such a short amount of time. And what I mean by that is the ability to transition between so many different techniques and registers rapidly at, and seamlessly. It's just extraordinary. And I'm 
mean extraordinary. It's what makes Dimash Dimash. So in the story of One Sky, Dimash's rapid shifts through various vocal techniques demonstrate his unmatched versatility and vocal prowess. Whether moving from a delicate, breathy onset to a powerful, chesty belt or navigating complex riffs and runs, he covers an impressive range of vocal styles and emotions. And that type of fluidity within a brief performance, and this isn't brief, it's not typical. It's not normal. It lets me know that I'm in the presence of something truly outstanding. And he undoubtedly possesses the most versatile and extensive vocal range in the world. And I don't think that's up for debate. Okay. I'm looking forward to this part. I'm expecting the song to hype up, but I don't, I don't know. It's the first time I'm watching the live version, so... Let's see. It's weird that I'm nervous, but let's see. Dude is going insane. And you're bouncing around and doing that. Oh my gosh, she just... I... Yes, sir. Oh. Okay. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I didn't expect him to do everything, but his commitment and passion to his craft and his philanthropic heart, it's just unbelievable this song story of one sky man he left nothing on the table and i meant nothing he gave it everything and then some throughout the entire performance dimash's emotional connection to the song is something that you can feel in the air and his voice resonates with intensity and sincerity as he delivers each note with conviction and purpose whether he's conveying vulnerability, urgency, or empowerment, he fully immerses himself in the emotional journey of the song. I've never seen that level of dedication and commitment to a performance ever, and I'm just watching it on a video screen. Lord knows what that looks like live. And if any of you went to the recent concert um, in Budapest, let me know if he performed this song and what it was like. I mean, oh, the things I would have given to just watch that. Maybe I'll get a chance in the future. But in the story of One Sky, his performance 
true testament to his dedication and passion for music and philanthropy. He sings with unwavering commitments, leaving everything on the table and delivering a performance that is powerful and just unbelievably moving, unbelievably moving. Well, that's all folks. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the reaction video. Your presence here truly did mean a lot to me and I hope that you love this video. And you know what, in the spirit of supporting the incredible talent of Dimash Kudai Bargan, I kindly invite you to consider subscribing to his channel, the link for which you will find graciously provided in the description below, as well as the link to the original concert in El Mate. As for supporting my own humble efforts, I would be deeply grateful if you could extend your kindness by subscribing, liking the video and sharing your thoughts in the comment section below. Your engagement fuels my passion for creating content and I couldn't do it without you. And also for those who may wish to offer additional support, whether through Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee or even the generous Super Thanks feature, please know that your consideration is sincerely appreciated. And a heartfelt thank you to all the generous souls who have already supported me on this journey thus far. Your contributions have made a significant difference and for that, I am truly grateful. Until next time, folks, be kind, be gentle, be respectful to one another and help each other out when you can. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. Cheers.